So we have to get ready to go to the airport. We have to get ready to London. We're going to London. We're doing 24 hours in London. I'm not going to bore you with all getting ready. But I do have my water. And I have my monster. So that hopefully I'll be more awake. Besties, you know me. I don't do mornings. But today we do. I also put on the skims thing is not part of the outfit, but Barbara said it's freezing in London. So I have this and I have a polo neck in my bag. My bus is in 10 minutes. Hello, I'm in the airport. I have not been in the airport before, like a flight leaving Ireland in over a year. You. Hi, I'm in London. I have made it. It's a few hours it's later. Lovely um, clothes hanging in the background. She's in London. We're in London. <laughs> one day only, one night only. I know we need to go. We're going on an adventure. I'll take you with me. Heading to Seven Dials Market. <sighs> I'm just following. For all the food, all yeah. the food benches. My, my period is due today and so I haven't eaten. I'm bringing Rebecca on a cookie tasting test around um, the Mills Yard. I think it'd be around Cap and Card. Yeah. We're excited, woo! Okay, besties, we went to Seven Dolls Market, this place called Soft Serve. I got a mint cookie, which was a choice. It was either going to go one way or another. It was amazing. Then this is the main event. This is hot chocolate, but she gets marshmallow fluff and scoops it all over the top. She gets it all in there, and then she gets a blowtorch, and it's like creme brulee, but for hot chocolate, it was so 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 delicious i just love a good foodie moment do you know what i mean okay so i got this soft serve hot chocolate with like a toasted marshmallow and a mint cookie 10 out of 10. and barbara got chai chai a chai tea <laughs> and chai guys <laughs> chai guys it's so good That is so cool. You alright? Okay. <laughs> Lip balm. Lip balm chair. Look how Christmassy and festive it is. Well, <laughs> explain to me. So they have all different flavours and you can just go around and have a little taster before you decide. And what are you tasting right now? Spiced orange. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, too sweet. Not spicy enough. What's the note to the spiced orange? It tastes like um, a cough syrup you were given. You know, oh. as a child, when your mom was Christmas. like a vitamin C. It tastes like a vitamin C. Mm. You know, the tablets you drop in. It matches you though. It's Ben's cookie. Is this your first Ben's cookie yeah. ever? <gasps> the smell in there. Taste test. The highlighter is popping. <laughs> is, do you like it? I'm glad you approve. 10 out of 10. We got a box. I love how the tree sparkles. Wow. How beautiful. That siren's running vibes, but it's fine. <laughs> We just went into Glossier. It was my first time in Glossier and I topped up my makeup because it's been on for 14 hours. 
We topped up my makeup. I used a few bits. I did like the stretch concealer. It was fab. So yeah, if you're in London, you have to go to the Glossier store. It's so cute. And they have like a way that you can like test everything and it's hygienic. It's not like disgusting. So now where are we going? Moe and pre dinner Moe in the middle of Covent Garden, I feel. Cute! And it's gonna be uh, Aperol <gasps> Shelley. Oh my god, that's so sweet! Oh my god, look at the decorations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbara. Christmas time in London. Oh this is your outfit. You're very orange today. It's very cute. Stumbled across. A Christmas market in Leicester Leicester's Square. Square. I know where I am. <laughs> oh my god, this is so. It smells like there's roasted marshmallows. Or, there are. Oh no, gourmet. Oh my god, this is so cute. Wait, I'll show you what I'm seeing. Sorry, I'm being so rude. Marshmallow stick. Thank you. Thank you. We're toasting some marshmallows. This is so cute. When we go over there, there's a space here. Leicester Square Christmas market situation. Wow. Oh my god, they have like a white chocolate one, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. They have a Mac Shack. Wow! Look at the fun done. Well, this was lovely to stumble upon. We literally weren't even supposed to come down this way. We're walking to dinner and we were like, what are those lights? And then we happen upon this place. Honestly. There were so many things that looked amazing there, but we are going for dinner. So we didn't, well, we got the marshmallows, but we did not get the churros or the donuts or the we chips. Said dessert. Or the brownies. Maybe we prefer the, the dessert on back here than the menu for where we're going. Yes. So that could be a plan. That's what we're doing. That's the vibes in London. We're having so much fun. It's so good to have her here. Woo! Tell you why they sing it is because, quite frankly, it's very popular and they want to make fast cash. So they usually do a very thrown together version. Not this Fusca here, she's amazing, her version is beautiful. But they usually do a very thrown together version of it, which often, in my opinion, isn't very good. And that makes me very sad because I think that this is one of the most beautiful and important songs ever written. I think it belongs written down on the walls in museums, and I just think it's worth a whole lot more than a cheap one pound coin. So I think if you're going to sing it, you better damn well try and sing with some conviction and do a good job.
was a full-time street performer and musician. And um, I don't know if you guys heard about what happened, but there was a global pandemic and live music was made illegal and I lost my job. Football wasn't for some reason. Anyway, I'm not bitter about that. So um, when things opened back up again, live music was still illegal in venues. So um, I got the only job that I could get, which was to be a bartender. Lockdown part two, I lost that job. Then I was a landscaper, they went bankrupt, so I lost that job. Then I was a construction worker. I was just about everything other than what I think I was put on this rock to do, which is make music and share it with wonderful people like yourselves. So thank you so very much for letting me do that again. Can you give yourselves a round of applause, please? This is for you from me. Thank you so, so much. I really do mean that. Secondly, I am once again a full-time musician! So we were That's where I did my pop up up there. It's oh, so wow. beautiful. That's cool. Yeah. There's the W where Barbara did her pop up by Barbarella. XOXO. <laughs> I'll leave her Instagram in the bio. We just watched. Oh, it's like, where are you going? We just. Barbara just keeps recording me. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. I had a jerk chicken burger and fries and Barbara had I had a plantain and chickpea curry and with a side of slaw stunning <laughs> and now we're walking back to the markets it may or may not be open we're just going to leave that in Faith's hands um, if not we have a Ben's cookie if not we have a lot of Ben's cookies <laughs> so we're either going to be getting donut slash churro vibes or cookie vibes and I mean both vibes are immaculate, do you know what I mean? I cannot believe I've... I'm still awake. Also, my makeup has been on since four in the morning. We're looking. The oils have came through, but it's kind of thriving. Oh my God, also, I searched all of Dublin and I'm not going to say all of London, but a chunk of London. A section. A section, a subsection of London for the Dermalogica pre-cleanse, the travel size because I need to pre-cleanse my face and I couldn't bring my full size because it was over 150 mil. Such a stupid rule, by the way. Can't find a travel site anywhere. So when I get home tomorrow, I will be pre-cleansing my face. Isn't that exciting? I am just got to London and I'm so excited to pre-cleanse my face. Also, what time am I going to have to get up for the airport? So early, Rebecca. <laughs> like you three. need to be there for seven. I need to be there before seven. Well, what time do you want to get there? I'm not sleeping. Well, I'd like to get there for half six, I think. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to rush in the airport. And it takes like an Rushing hour. in the airport is not a vibe. I like to take my time, get it water, you know, hydrate, hydrate pee. Good morning, besties. Hi. Okay, so we're still in London. Okay, so obviously it's four in the morning right now. Bob, this is so cute. This is the couch. All the art. The TV. Chairs. Burger. Me. It is half four in the morning. And I have a bus in ten minutes back home. So we did 24 hours in London, baby. It was so much fun. We had such an amazing time. I hope that you felt like you were like brought behind the scenes. Oh my god, I'm in the airport. Look what I found. White Moe and it is so cheap. It is £43, which is about €50. Euro. Um, to put that into context, if I was to buy it in Dublin, it's like nearly 100 So I found that and I also found, so they have like a kind of Prosecco but made to go on ice as well. So I also am gonna get that. But yeah, top tip, if you're coming from the UK to Europe, all the alcohol is cheaper. I cannot wait to go to bed, but I I just look tired, because I am. <laughs> I'd say in the last two nights I've had worse six hours sleep in two nights like three hours per, per night so yeah london over and out i have my period it's time to go to bed for a few hours